In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert to slope intercept form using uh, slope intercept form as well to find the slope. So before we calculated slope just by looking at the graph and then we calculated slope given two points. Well, now we're going to calculate the slope given an equation and the equation is going to have to be in slope intercept form. And if you remember, this is what it looks like. So if you could please write all of this down. We're going to now solve the following equations for y and write in slope intercept form. Then we're going to identify the slope. Now something very important, if you copy this correctly, is to note that m is the slope, not x. This is the form. It includes a y, it includes an x. However, m is the slope, not x. So just remember that the number in front of x is the slope, not x itself. And then this number will be the y-intercept. Okay, so solve the following equations for y and write in slope-intercept. I already said that. So we're gonna zoom in here on number one. So as you can see, this one right here, this is not, this is not in slope-intercept form. So we're gonna have to put it in slope-intercept form. Well, what do we do? Basically, we're going to have to, as this, as this says up here, we're going to have to solve the following equations for y. That means get y all by itself on one side. So when we solve the equation for y, we're going to have x in it. Watch. Copy it down. So we want to get y all by itself on one side. How are we going to do that? So let's keep it over here on the left side, and we're going to get rid of the 2x on the left side. But whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So y is now, actually I'm going to be consistent, it stays right there, the equal sign is right there. And then we have, I'm going to just reorder that and put 2x plus 4 right over here. Now, this is, in case you didn't notice, in slope-intercept form. This is in slope-intercept form right here. So how do we identify the slope? Well, if you want to look back up here, the slope is the m, the number right in front of the x. So what is that in this case? It's the two. So the slope is, actually I'm just to stay consistent, I'm gonna put m equals two. And then if I were to ask you for the y-intercept, you would put four, but I'm not asking you for that right now, okay? All right, how about this one? Well, we're going to have to, take everything that is not the y term off of the left side, and we're gonna to have to solve. So what we do first is subtract off that three x, and then the negative two y comes down, this cancels away, equal sign comes down, and then I'm gonna always put the x term first because that's kind of how slope intercept form is gonna look. So we'll put the three x term there and then we'll put the positive nine. Now we've got this negative two in front of the y, we need y all by itself. So what we're gonna do is divide by two now. Dividing the left side of the equation by two means that we're gonna to have to divide the right side of the equation by two, and you already knew that. But so you know and understand how to do this, when you divide an, an entire side or multiply an entire side, of an equation by something, it's the same as multiplying or dividing every term on that side by that number. So we're gonna multiply, or excuse me, divide the whole right side of this equation by negative two. The same thing would be dividing each term on the right side by two. It's the same thing, and that is a critical thing you need to get. So we can now cancel the twos, y equals, and the negative three over the negative two just cancels out the negatives and makes it a positive. So it's a three halves x, and then nine over negative two is simply a negative nine halves. So plus a negative nine halves would just make it a negative nine halves like that. And this is now in slope intercept form. What is the slope? It is the number right in front of the x, three halves. 
So I'm going to say M, which means slope, is 3 halves, and we're done. Two parts to this. Write it in slope-intercept form, then identify the slope using that form. Number three. Okay, our first step is going to be, well, I always like to make things positive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little fancy right now, and I'm actually going to move the Y this time, or I move the X term, but now I'm gonna move the Y. I'm gonna add Y to the left side, but I have to do the same to the right side. And then I'm gonna have 5X equals, and then this cancels, Y on the right side. But what I can always do is just flip it around and say y equals 5x. It's the same thing. But now I have this thing, and it's in slope-intercept form. Well, is it? You might be wondering if it really is. Because you don't have any number right there. We always had a number right there. We had the plus b, right, Mr. Donahue? Well, yes, we do have a plus b. But what is b in this case? What is b in this case? Well, it's zero. So you'll just have to understand that B is zero in this case. And then the slope is the number right in front of the X, which is five. Okay. Number four, last one. So in this case, wow, this is kind of interesting. We have to solve for Y well, we're, that's what we're told in the directions, and then write in slope-intercept form, but this thing kind of looks a little funky. I mean, it, it already is solved for y. We know that y equals negative three. Well, what, is, what does that even mean? Well, it means that this is already in slope-intercept form, but, but what is missing? We know that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, and it looks like this could be the B, but where's this? Where's the MX part? And this is another instance where you're going to need to build in um, a term in the middle and just put zero in there because zero X is the same as zero. That's why we just didn't write it. So whenever we see this or, or uh, things like this, we can know how to do it. We can just write it like this, Y equals 0x minus 3. Is that not exactly the same thing as this? Yet now it's in slope-intercept form. And now we can see the slope. It's 0. It's 0. So our slope is 0, meaning it is a horizontal line. It is a horizontal line on the coordinate plane. That's what the graph of it would look like. And it would be right It would be right at one, two, negative three. Y equals negative three. Okay, that's not super neat. There we go. Yeah, that's the best I can. I'm kind of a perfectionist, you guys, sorry. And there we go. There is the graph of that line. The slope is zero, the y-intercept is negative three.